Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give him praise, give him praise. Hallelujah, praise God. So um, I'm going to try to make this quick and to the point. I was on the phone with someone this morning, and as we were praying, I said, God, what is going on? And just to be real, God was saying, there's too many people in the pulpit. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. There's too many people in the pulpit that is fornicating, that is committing adultery, that is doing all kinds of stuff, just to be real, unholy. And I said, God, it's that spirit of lust. And so while we're on the phone, God gave me this. He said, Deanna, this is what lust stands for. Living under spiritual temptations. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to say it again. Living under spiritual temptation. What is lust? Whatever you desire more than God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because this is what's happening. A lot of people are not studying the enemy. You know, that's one thing I took seriously before I really became a prophetess, apostle, minister, all that. And I'm so serious. This can be verified, too. I used to study like I was working two jobs, but I would study around the clock. I get off. I'm at that table. They thought I was crazy, you know. No. I heard God say, study the enemy because he's studying you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The enemy studies us over and over. He knows what you like. He knows what you don't like. He knows what you'll do. He knows what you won't do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. But yet we fail to really, really study him. And guess what? He will use your own sins against you. Your own lusts, your own desires. That's why you have to ask God, God, humble me. God, keep me humble. And you have to stay, stay in the presence of God. How do you stay in the presence of God? In a secret place. You see, people love to put on a facade. They love to, you know, be in, in church and talking in tongues and doing this and doing that. Hold on a minute, y'all. I got this cough drop in my mouth. This is not working. This is not working. Okay, now I can really talk. I can't do all that. So basically, what they love to do is they love to be, you know, like in front of people just putting on a facade. And I'm not saying that everybody's putting on a facade. But you want to know where the battle's at? When you are laying down in your room. And I'm talking about you in a secret place. God, I don't know how I'm going to fight this battle. God, I don't understand it. Or oh, sometimes just be real. God, I'm scared. God, I ain't got nobody in my corner. God, everybody done left me. God, they talking about me. God, what do I do? Hallelujah. That is when you file your answer. Hallelujah. Because God said, don't worry. The battle ain't yours anyway. It's mine. I'm going to do what says God. I'm going to build you up. I'm going to keep you strong. I'm going to give you the answer. I'm going to make it through. Oh, hallelujah to his name. Because God has sent people to help you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you these days. I'm not picking no relationships. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Because Deanna, Deanna Dixon have a big heart. Apostle Deanna Dixon have a big heart. But I've learned you have to guard your heart. It's hard to fight the enemy when you're sleeping with the enemy. Y'all ain't ready for me. It's hard to fight the enemy when you invite the enemy in. It's hard to fight the enemy when you when you like this with the enemy. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. And you don't even know the enemy. And some of you do. But, but, but I love them. I like them. You better understand. You better walk in wisdom and discernment in this hour like never before. Because lust. Living under spiritual temptation. They know what you like. And he'll dangle that carrot. Oh, they'll dangle that carrot. Because guess what? Anything to get you to come out of carrot because this is how the enemy does. I'm like y'all right there, right? The enemy's looking for a way in. How can I get in? How can I get in? Because I know they're not all that. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And we're not, but of through Christ Jesus. So he's looking. He's looking for a way in. He's looking for a way in. But God has a shield over you. God has his glory over you. God has his strength over you. God has his power over you. God has his wisdom over you. God give you the spiritual sight and senses that knows that something ain't right. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all better get it together. The enemy is after you. And he ain't playing. They taking out our children. Look what they're doing. I just passed that law. That stuff coming out of me, y'all. You, you know, the rest of that flu, whatever. Pfft. I ain't gonna get on that because y'all know that's something more than that. But anyway, um, the full term, that's, that's sacrifice to Molech. Come on, somebody. Y'all understand what's happening? Let me tell y'all what's happening. The line is being divided. Who is they and who is God? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I pray that you're on the right side because God is raising up a real nest. Hallelujah. 
That's powerful. Supernatural power. Dunamis power. Ain't no more shaking and faking, baby. Oh, come on, somebody. Because these demons come in for real. That little la la stuff y'all doing, that little entertainment stuff y'all doing, them demons gonna whoop you like the seven seas, sons of Skiva. You better have some real anointing in these days, in this hour. You better know God for real. You can't play with this thing. Hallelujah. So I pray that you stay on the wall. Luke 10, 19. What does he say in Luke 10, 19? I got my Bible. Hold on. I want to read it just the way he said it. Because that is one of the things that I live by. He, he gives it to us. He gives us the strength. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Okay. Luke 10, 19. Okay. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents. That's Luke 10, 19. And scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy and nothing should by any means hurt you. You got to understand this is what you're going to live by. Luke 10, 19. I'm going to say it again. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Come on, somebody. And nothing should by any means hurt you. Oh, the weapon going to form, but it ain't going to prosper, thus said the Lord. And that was the word of God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I'm going to say it again. Lust means living under spiritual temptation. People, men and women of God, you can't live how you want to live. You can't do what you want to do. You can't say what you want to say. You can't go where you want to go. Not if you're real. Because God going to say, don't do that. Don't go there. Don't be friends with them. Oh, they this and that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So this is a time that you gird your lions. And you walk like a man and woman of God for real. Ain't no more playing. Come on, somebody. Get in your word. Fast. Pray. Preach. Teach. Do what God has called you to do. Because people are dying, said the Lord. Playtime over. It's been over. Hallelujah. We need some anointed men and women of God. We tired of these fakers that shake us. Hallelujah. That can't even lay hands on their own selves. So I pray you understand what I just said. It's time. Boot up. Stand up. And I ain't talking. I'm talking about boot up, not boot up. That's what's wrong with some of y'all now. Listening to Ella or whoever she is. Y'all understand what I'm saying, right? This is war time. You better get in that word. You better fast. You better pray. Pray for your family. Pray for your friends. Pray for yourself. Pray that God keep you strong. Hallelujah. That's all God told me to say. So God bless you. I love you all through Christ Jesus because we are brothers and sisters of Christ. Y'all, it's just another thing. Start getting along with each other. We are not each other's enemy. There's one enemy, and that's the devil. He's come to divide the body of Christ. And he in the church laughing right now. Oh, he laughing because he up in the church. Y'all better get love for one another back in your hearts. Forgive one another. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Have a blessed day. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.